do a little dental pick here. Clean it up. Welcome back to Rick Quadruple Zero. Where today we're going to be washing the heads out for reinstallation. We're going to be using a parts cleaner that you could get from a gas station that sells between two to three dollars a gallon. <laughs> but I can't tell you what exactly it is. I'm sure you could guess. Clean out your spark plug flanges here. All right, so dump that cleaner in here. How much uh, yeah. of this proprietary uh, parts cleaner doing? Yeah. Go that open. we just clean them up with our proprietary parts cleaner this head is already reassembled and we're working on finishing this one up if you're good bring it along for the ride uh, just a note uh, there is a full rebuild series already on Joe's 383 so we're not going to really beat this too much to death but we figured we'd show you at least doing a valve or two here so it's pretty much just like uh, taking the valves out um, putting them back in, it's just in reverse. So you want to start with just using some uh, assembly lubricant to lube the valve uh, stem. And I've been just kind of running my finger up around where the keepers will go to kind of help them stick a little bit when you finally get those back in. So you want to get center up in the hole, bring it up through, make sure it feels good. Take your little Barella tool, I guess you call it. Joe, what do you call these things exactly? Well, they're umbrella seals. Um, umbrella seals, so. So you got that. Spring. So these springs are a considerably higher tension than the stock ones, so uh, you'll probably see me fight with this compressor tool a little more. But you just gotta finesse it a little bit. It's definitely a little bit, I, I told Joe earlier, it's almost like diffusing a bomb with this stupid thing. So you wanna get these, get the mouth of it kind of opened up a bit. Got to bring tension, get this centered. And you wanna be, care be careful not to. This one's going to fight me really good. I think what's happening is this retainer is grabbing on. There you go. Oop. I'm going to zoom in on your area here, right here. <laughs> Zoom in on my those keepers. Keepers are barely keeping. Okay. Well, there's one. That one fought with me a bit. But, they're going to fight, spring tension's higher. Um, one of the things you'll know, I, I asked Joe's, the keepers, there's a little gap sometimes at the top. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Joe, is that okay? Is that normal? Yeah. Yeah. But, 
like I say, as the engine breaks in, it'll kind of, everything just kind of centers itself. So I got uh, six more of these things to do. Get the next veil. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep all your valves and everything lined uh, up. Uh, for us, it wasn't super critical since we grinded the veil face and also the seats, but ground, grinded, ground, grinded. As you've seen in the last videos, <laughs> proper English is. Yeah. Well, I've always said this to coworkers. Uh, spoken English is definitely different than written English. And though I write well, I don't speak all that good. good. Don't speak none good. Now we'll bore you to death with a high speed film oh, of him finishing these valves up. With circus music. You're gonna do that to me? Do -do -do.
Hi, I'm Rick. Uh, 